Bro, what's the deal? It's your boy Original back with another one, man. Now check this out. We doing a reaction flow. We in my reaction bag, man. And uh today we about to react to this video right here. I was just on my watch page. Y'all know I got the best watch page on YouTube, man. Nobody got a better watch page than be on YouTube. I'ma keep reminding y'all that. But we about to watch this Breakfast Club clip. Uh, look like they're talking about the NFL players demand respect for Colin Kaepernick and BLM. So, I just want to talk, you know, before, uh, you know, I just want to say rest in peace to George Floyd. And why I believe George Floyd's death was so significant, it sparked so many protests and riots across uh, America is because Colin Kaepernick what he did with his stance he took a knee he took a knee against police brutality not standing for uh, the national anthem knowing you know America's real history like a lot of people they love to uh, you know praise America and the flag but um, they forget all of the blood that was spilled on America how America was built, you know, all of the people they killed and murdered all the original people of the land, you know, and all the slavery. And uh, they tend to forget that in honor of, of this flag. Like, it's so honorable when, um, you know, the true history is very bloody. And uh, what was very significant was the officer took a knee on George Floyd neck in it's just like reverse psychology is to, at its finest to me because we see Colin Kaepernick, you know, getting uh, scrutinized. And, uh, you know, they took his job away from him and everything. They really tried to, uh, you know, dethrone him in the public eye. You know, and his whole image, they tried to tarnish his image. And all because he took a knee. You know, for police brutality, then we have an event where a police officer takes a knee on a black man. You know what I'm saying? He yelling, he can't breathe. It, it's just like a slap in the face to everything that Colin Kaepernick was doing. And it's like also an awakening moment for people who weren't fully aboard with him. Like, if every NFL player don't take a knee on every single game, man, something's wrong. Uh, with the psychology you know of our people and, and that's something we got to correct get us right on a spiritual level but that's on a whole nother video i know I, that was a long intro but uh i just had to say that but we about to hop into this video man let's hop straight into it the non-skippable ass boy Hey. This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. Rumor has it. Rumor has it. So listen up. Nah, 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 nah. Well, yesterday we read you Drew Brees' apology on Instagram for the remarks that he said about how he doesn't like the nailing during the NFL pro during the NFL games and how it's disrespectful to the flag. What? what Drew Brees, if you don't sit your Captain America head ass, your point that's your motherfucking uh, Boy Scout ass down, boy. Man. This what this what I'm talking about. Like with people in this flag, go oh, don't disrespect the flag. Like, do you not under realize the history of America, man? Like, I don't care if your people, whatever, like whatever y'all ties. If you went to the military, whatever, bro, like. I, I respect you for going to the military, but don't you turn no blind eye to the real reason why we was doing it for police brutality, man. Stop trying to make it like, you know what I'm saying? We just disrespecting the flag. Like, fuck that flag, man. Well, now he is apologizing yet again. Now he posted on his social media page, step by step, you will see my heart for exactly what it is and the way everyone around sees it. I, I'm sorry. I, it has bet, I, I bet they was grilling him. I bet, I bet the whole movement was on his head. You better stop playing with us, man. Taking this long to act and to participate in a meaningful way, but I am your ally in this fight. Here's what he said. Yeah, okay. I know there's not much that I can say that would make things any better right now. Right. You just So just shut up. But I just want you to see in my eyes how sorry I am 
for the comments that I made yesterday. I know that it hurt many people. That was never my intention. I wish I would have laid out what was on my heart in regards to the George Floyd murder, Ahmaud Arbery, the years and years of social injustice, police brutality. Bro, he really don't care about that shit. I want to find a real, I want to find an original video of Drew Brees. Because he must have said some goofy shit. He don't hear crying like that. Need for so much reform and change to bring equality to our black communities. I am sorry. And I will do better. And I will be part of the solution. And I am your ally. It's like, you know what that be sounding like? It's like somebody trying to give you empathy of something they never experienced. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know what I'm saying? You lose... One of your grandparents, there's somebody that never lost none of their grandparents trying to, I'm sorry, it's going to be all right. Like, you don't really know the feeling yet. Just shut up. I am your ally is the new I have black friends. That's what it sounds like, right? Drew, yeah, that's what it sounds like. I am your ally is the new I have black friends. And I don't think Drew Brees is racist. I just think that he's, you know, uh, culturally clueless. That's all. He really yeah, doesn't understand that there's two different Americas out here. The what? It's like, what? at what age do you, you know, take responsibility? You ain't culturally clueless. You know what I'm saying? It's, it be all these grown people, you know, they swear they know it all. They swear they know everything else. You know what I'm saying? But when it come to uh, injustice and, you know, the reason why we doing this shit, you know, they tend to not be able to see that. They tend to not be able to see, you know, uh, all of the oppression put against people of color. They tend to just turn a blind eye. Like, you ain't seen this shit. Like, fuck, fuck is you talking about, man? Why did he kneel? Why did he kneel in the first place with his teammates? Probably just He's showing solidarity because those are his teammates. <laughs> That's all. But if he didn't feel that way, don't do it. Just, just don't do it to pander me. If you don't if you don't feel that way, don't do it. Stand on, stand on what you're saying. Took a knee for the team. He took one for the team. He took a knee for the team. That's all. All right, some of the biggest names in the NFL from Patrick Mahomes, Odell Beckham, Saquon Barkley. They did drop a message now demanding that the league admit that they wrongly silenced protesters like Colin Kaepernick. Right. And here's what this video sounds like. It's been 10 days since George Floyd was brutally murdered. How many times do we need to ask you to listen to your players? What will it take for one of us to be murdered by police brutality? What if I was George Floyd? We will not be silenced. We assert our rights peacefully protest. It shouldn't take this long to admit. So, on behalf of... I be thinking, what would Dr. King do? They kill him. They kill me too. The National Football League. This is what we, the players, would like to hear you state. We, we the National, National Football, Football League, League, condemn racism and the systematic oppression of black people. We, we the, the National, National Football League, League, admit wrong and silencing our players from peacefully protesting. We, we the, the National, National Football, Football League, League Black Lives Matter. I wonder would the league ever admit that? No. I don't think so. They because if they admit that, that, then they got to admit the Colin Kaepernick thing, and then they got to probably pay more money than they made. Because there's a lot of players that pretty much have been silenced and haven't been able to play because they were kneeling, right? Camardi. What happens yeah. in the future so if they decide to, to... What can what, what will the NFL do in the future now? Oh, oh, they definitely kneeling this year. Yeah, you ain't got to worry about absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yeah. Play, play, players are definitely yo, taking hey, this yo. year. If every that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. See, I be having like I be already knowing this shit. Telepathy. But if every NFL player don't kneel this year, something's wrong with the psychology of people like it gotta click. Nah, it gotta click, man. It gotta click, man. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said with the reverse psychology thing, like how Colin Kaepernick was pre peacefully protesting by kneeling during the flag, everybody was just such an outrage, so crazy, like, to the point, get him out the league, fire him, all this stuff, you know what I'm saying, ban him, destroy his name, all of that, right, and, and then we get this officer that kneels on a black man, and it's like, the video, it's like a slap in the face, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's like a slap in the face, that's what it feel like. But, you know, I guess even if the NFL doesn't admit they're on the wrong side of history, uh, we got eyes. We all could see that you're on the wrong side of history. National Football League. 
Well, uh, you know, some of Drew Brees' teammates have forgiven him. You know, they were actually chanting F Drew Brees in New Orleans, and some people actually set his jersey on fire in the streets yeah, also. New Orleans? Michael Thomas said one of my brothers made a public Orleans, statement yesterday bro. that I disagreed with. Uh, he apologized, and I accept it because that's what... You in New Orleans. Do you understand it's Haitians down there? Do you understand they know magic still? They're going to have, they have your ass, you about to have the worst season. Like, you're not winning no more rings, man. We definitely ain't winning one next year. So we are taught to do as Christians. Now back to the movement, hashtag George Floyd. Abin Kamara said, this is the reality we live in. This isn't about pinning black That's against white, Christians. but more yeah. so about the narrative that is created when a black person speaks and when a white person speaks. Pay attention. This is why we protest. This is why we take a need to be heard. Nothing more. One of Drew Brees is wishing he retired last year. He's forty something years old. One of he's wishing, man, I wish I wish I'd have just tapped out last year. Wish yeah. I would have just left. Well, Malcolm Jenkins told him to shut the f up. So that was his response. To I like Drew that. Brees. Drop on the clues bomb from yeah. Malcolm Jenkins. Very sound advice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's all for them, man. All right, now Amanda Seals is speaking out about uh, uh, you know leaving the real. Now, first thing she did was shut down the rumors that she's beefing with Lonnie Love. I saw oh, no, some I reports that, that they unfollowed each other, so on and so forth. Oh, so no, here's what you have to that. say just to dispute What's that. Do not try. Oh no, I don't care about none of that. Create some false dissension between me and the co-hosts of the real. Y'all so corny. There is a whole pandemic and an uprising going on and you still can't find else to do what i did not heck? unfollow all right we put uh oh my computer died i'm like man i didn't did too many reactions but uh yeah man y'all better show some respect eric this year is about to be a lot of kneeling going on and y'all gotta understand, man. Y'all cannot suppress us, man. The first will be last, man. You know, whether y'all believe it or not, you know, whether the government make it so or not, nature will make it so. You know what I'm saying? I'm a very spiritual, very tapped in individual. And I know what's really going on. I know what's really about to happen. You know what I'm saying? And this is an awakening moment, another awakening moment, you know what I'm saying, for our people. And, you know, just think about, like, after the 1960s, all that shit happened in the late 60s. And, you know, what what came next was the 70s. And so much shit birthed from the 70s, you know, including hip-hop. So, you know, through our oppression, we create, you know, we develop and we become resilient as a people, so, you know, keep playing with us, keep playing with us, keep, keep playing with, uh, you know, our, our movement, our people, and you go get, you gonna get what you want, you gonna, y'all gonna see, y'all gonna see how this shit really works, so, it's your boy, Young World, make sure you leave a like, make sure you comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, I'm out.